Good time of the day. How is everyone doing tonight, today, or this morning? How's my volume? Let me know, as usual. I've made some adjustments. Uh, so, yeah.
Excellent, excellent. Let's give everyone else at least a couple of minutes more. Yeah, I've decided to do a relaxing stream today. Um, uh, my internet's been having problems the last three days. There's been a big outage, so the ISP fixed something and uh, it turned out that my upload uh, speed is like double the usual so i was just like i have to stream today while while the speed is good why not but i've been having outages for three days who, who knows maybe midway through the stream everything will die but so far so good i've also upped the bitrate because of the rendering this game uses there's a lot of artifacting which i assume is not good for real-time video compression so i upped the bitrate quite a lot and uh, I did not forget to set my stream to low latency this time, so hopefully there won't be like a 20 second buffer between you asking a question and me answering. Oh, I also cropped my uh, webcam so you can't see the, the shirt that I'm wearing. Effects of the video monologues of the brothers in the PC VR version of Mist uh, to the new ones, to the 3D ones. No, I mean not the new version of Mist, but the, uh, the pre rendered. 3D ones, not the ones that they took from Real Mist. stream ah okay looks fine looks fine to me um all right so one thing i will have to do is because this game is in 640 uh, by 480 and i will be streaming in 640 by 480 thankfully my 720p allows for it uh i will have to reset my visual capture device probably a couple of times um uh, and you'll tell me um uh oh no they're coming i have freed the hellish forces It's a Windows game, so I'm going to be playing it on a modern machine. It's it sort of works. Uh, 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 so yeah, I'm going to be using DXVND to fix the rendering. You'll see, but yeah. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, excuse some of the behind the scenes here. You'll see a peek behind the curtain. Oh, here's my Twitter. All right, here we go. Anatoly is my name. 
And this is my game. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Alright, it seems like we're in business, but you will have to tell me if the sound is in sync on your end. Because last time when I was streaming from um, from, from a console, I heard the sound normally, but for you it was delayed, so... Let me know. So this is a French game, a French-Japanese game. Um, so, of course, just the fact that you go in the 3D recreations of Van Gogh's paintings was not enough. So it has a framing device where you're, you're in the museum um, uh, that exists in the world with no sunlight. That's a framing device. Now, the game works in a, at a very low frame rate. That's intentional. Uh, the game actually has a game-breaking bug that if you load a save, uh, the frame rate limit is gone and everything is attached to it, like collisions uh, and everything, and it just breaks the entire game. Uh, basically, if you want to load a game, you have to load it and then restart from the profile, but whatever. So we start a new game here. This, this, whatever you see, this is normal. As you can see, it's in full 3D. It's a, a software-rendered game. Uh, and its render is very well, chunky. Uh, I'm not quite sure here. how to describe the artifacts in here, but here. And you it know, really helps I can it. to sell um, lost their colors when the sun went to out. sell Van Gogh's no uh, more light. No style more oil paintings. I tried to get the original colors back by launching thousands of algorithms, but all I managed to do was to burn out half my components. Too. I can still I'm show quiet. you what I came up with, though. Obviously, I'm not Vincent Van Gogh. I'm the science. Van Gogh. I've never been able to go into the galleries and see the canvases up close. You want to go to take a look? Here, take this with you. Of course you have this game. You have the Monet game as well? Windows 95, this is my one of my big biggest pet peeves. Windows 95 or 98 or whatever, they're not they're not based on DOS. Uh, in fact, DOS inside of them is being executed by Windows. Uh, they use DOS as a bootloader, but after that, DOS was gone. So there's that. So yeah. You haven't collected enough sunflowers to go into this new gallery. So this is the main game's mechanic. It's actually sort of a hidden object game. Uh, we'll get to that, but uh, this is like the tutorial. So you have a painting and you have an object on the left and you get the objects that you found to connect it with required uh, paintings. And uh, once you finish the thing... Hello. 3D Vincent nice to see someone. comes over I'm happy to welcome and gives you, you a little my world. We're here in my studio. You can look at my paintings piece. with a magnifying glass or a ruler. Click on their symbols to see how they work. And yeah, so he gives you a little thing. You can you can have a button to explore paintings and close up, which we will do. Um for everything. And you can have a little bit of a history thing where this little 3D rendered, pre-rendered piece shows you the scale uh, of the, the painting. Um, 
uh, as being held by Vincent. Uh, gives you little dimensions, technique, and the location. Um, and on the left, it gives you the the year, not the ear. Um, when you leave here, you're going to embark on the discovery of a world full of colors, and, um, shadow, and light. After each complete, and complete painting, as well. uh, Vincent Pay gives you a sunflower, which you have to collect in a pot. Yeah. And it's actually the most this annoying thing about it. I'll be giving you other ones throughout the game. They'll open new doors for you. Uh, because you, while mm -hmm. you carry it by the middle, you have to drop it like you can't drop it like this. You have to drop it like by the middle of the stem. My god, I'm attracting all the bots today, yeah? Who wants to be a moderator? <laughs> Alright, T-squared said first, so... Uh... Uh, I am, I am, you see those fuckers, uh, click hide from channel or whatever it, the option it gives you. Please. So, here we go, this is the first level. So, this is how the game works. You go into, um, uh, you go into, oh, this museum is fucking dirty, look at this shit. Uh, by the way, there is an option to look up and down, it's like an old first-person shooter, page up, page down, but there is no option to center. Look at this, this museum is badly kept. But yeah, and then you go into the painting, so this level only has two interactive paintings. You get a little fly-through. And now, we're in the 3D recreation of the painting. Baby's crying because it's cold. We can close the window. Shut the fuck up, baby. Good. There's some potatoes. This is your inventory, so you find the items. Um... And yeah, this is like really, really cool. And educational to a degree where, uh, where it makes sense. Like, for example, there, then you find objects, and when you have a frame around them, that means they're part of a painting. And here you get the so required potato. You have to press spacebar to call the inventory, and you have to watch that animation every single time. Still lives are almost always filled with fancy crystal bowls, elegant bottles, fish, and seafood. Ripe fruit spilling out of the dish. It's enough to give you indigestion. What I wanted was to show poor people's food, because that's what the peasants eat. The bowl's made of clay. The vegetables come from the earth, like the brown colors that I put on my palate. All right. So now... This is one, this one required only one item, it was easy, so we get the sunflower. Now, sometimes when you add the items, it will proceed to give you a little game. Um, it seems arbitrary, not when you fill the entire thing, just some items will trigger a little game. Games range from, oh, that's a pretty cool time waster to fairly annoying, but, uh, but whatever. And also, the reason the software render really works, it actually makes the game better, because the follow-up to this game, the Monet, the orangery, uh, game actually uses 3D acceleration and it makes the game worse. Here's a zoom in. And this is educational in like the most simplest sense, but it really does work because it gives you uh, all, all these details um, about the painting, very nicely presented, and it gives you a little bit of a voice clip uh, a, with a sort of context on the painting. Uh, I think that's really good. It's not too intrusive. It's not hammering you over the head. There is no quiz. Uh, really good. Good stuff. And you can actually exit at any point. That's the only thing that um, uh, that doesn't really work with the game. Like here, when you exit, 
Only now you can see the amount of sunflowers you required to exit this room. We'll get to the ears. This game does not shy away from the ears too. So now let's continue. So now we have the baby. Uh, the baby requires a teapot and a feather. So let's see. Let's see what else. Uh, so certain things are triggered in sequence. Um, like I've, uh, uh, I've played this game last about a year and a half ago. So I still sort of remember. Now I have a teapot. Teapot. Now let's go outside. There's an effective use of sprites and lower textures. I do love this chunky render. I'm telling you, the uh, the uh, Monet game is not is 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 worse in so in so many ways. Like, not only as a game it's bad, but also its visuals uh, are not as cool. Like, this is cool. So simple, and it's so effective. Yeah, the 3D technology is by Cryo. Which is why it's uh, probably both cool and somewhat broken. Oops, there's the potatoes again. Let's get the baby. Put each figure in its place around the table. Yeah, and like this game is, is you know, uh, inoffensive and easy. This is like a cool time waster. If I want to keep improving my work, yes, of course, I have to go and live where the light is better, somewhere in the south. Well, let's take a look. So here's a zoom in. The darker paintings are unfortunately slightly worse scans. You can't quite see the textures, but it's still really cool. So this one is is in Amsterdam, and it's a pretty big one, as far as uh, Van Gogh's paintings go. The first painting I did with several big figures doesn't strike me as very good, but I like it anyway. These aren't heroes, but tired peasants eating potatoes and drinking coffee in the light of a little oil lamp. Still, that's already something. It takes a lot of effort Can to you show hear something narration? that ordinary. It's a bit quiet on my end, but I painted it all from memory, by heart. That's a fairly Doing decent voice acting. Doing the opposite of what you're told sometimes gives good results. It lets you create something new instead of imitating what other people have already done. Usually in European made games, the English voice acting mm. is not the greatest, but it, I think it helps here that you don't really see characters on screen talking or anything. There's no cutscene. It actually works as a piece of narration. So like, again, I sort of really like this game. So we have two, we need three as we saw. So let's find another point of entry as we can see it's a bird that flies between these two things let's go explore a little bit we're gonna finish this game tonight uh, I'm hoping if my internet doesn't die or this game doesn't crash oh it's just a thingy okay well I want to learn how to draw, but not by copying plaster statues. That doesn't interest me. In fact, I wound up throwing them onto the ground, and I was happy to see them smashed to bits. I went into the fields to watch the peasants at work, hoeing the land, sowing the seeds, harvesting the potatoes, everything that you don't usually see in paintings. Now, all of these and are the actually Those skippable. little human nests, sometimes just cabins that are almost as fragile as the birds' nests. I yes, the, the Monet game is like semi. Every time I see broken. one, I ask myself, 
who lives inside? If they're not cold, but it's also if badly the made in the beginning. If the harvest was good. These are poor people who live simple lives. Some of them invite me to share their soup. They call me the painter fellow. And the video night, uh, I sleep on the hay Kodak the is also it's a custom life. Kodak. Actually quite hard, nice. But it's good. Another thing, when you finish the thing, like there's actually several mm. animations of uh, Vincent giving you a sunflower, um, which is also nice. Very nice. It's a nicely done game. Um, well, yes, this one is in private collection. Grand Titans. Uh, I, I would mind some uh, to see some Grand Titans. Um, all right. So like, actually, yeah, you it won't let you know that you've finished uh, the level. You actually have to go back automatically, and then it will play you a cutscene. So now we finished this level, the introductory level. We can continue, but not here. You haven't collected enough sunflowers to go into this new gathering. Okay, and this is like, I think the biggest level. This has one, two, three, four, five, six paintings. This is Arl. Um, let's start with Vincent's room. I really like this rendition. Mr. Van Gogh, would you kindly bring back the parasol I loaned you the day before yesterday when you went out to paint in that terrible eat with your tattered old hat? Otherwise, with this blazing sun that we have, I won't be able to put my toe outside. This is also a level where the game starts breaking its own rules, so... so. Just collecting the items, the parasol that uh, the lady just asked you. This is like, uh, I'm sorry, this is like really good looking for, for what it is. It's something about like, look at this rendering. Look at, like, I don't know where it optimizes and why it looks so uneven, but it just helps to sell that illusion. There's a fierce wind blowing outside, the Mistral, so I have to stay indoors. I'm going to send a letter to my brother, Teo, with a little sketch of my room. Teo's the one who gave me the money to buy the furniture. Painters often make sketches before they start a canvas. It's a kind of draft, but I do the sketch afterwards. I mean, yeah, the when my movie maker is, is very creepy. show my brother what it looks like. Since he lives in Paris and we don't often see each other, I write to him every day. So again, the game doesn't tell you how many sunflowers you need, but mm. I think it's something like 15 in this one. Oops. Ah, you, see, you saw that, right? Mm. So like you have to do it with the thing, and if you miss, you have to watch the bar animation every single time. It's a sketch. Oh, well. I didn't mean to do that, but hey, 15, yep. Again, those things are skippable, thankfully. So we got several paintings here and more become activated as we go. Um, so we're just gonna fill them in as we go. Choose the color of the bedroom walls and look carefully at the result. In red, my room seems minuscule, 
a shoebox. It's as if the walls were coming closer. I actually really it's like this one, but this is not even the game. It's really rest. cool. And this is like the more educational one, actually. Yellow is nice, but it's already very hot outside. I'm going to suffocate. Blue. That's the horizon. The infinite sky coming into the room. A huge breath of fresh air. I want people to sense that this is the room where I live, and that I know it by heart. It's painted in flat colors like Japanese drawing paper. I've eliminated the shadows and used all the colors of the rainbow. I'm very pleased to have you come and visit me. I hope you've enjoyed yourself at my place. My mother's never come here. She lives far away and the trip would be too tiring for her. But I write to her often. All right, so we get the nice this nice soil. Yeah, the scans are like off their time. Um, Stu, thank you very much. Here's to you with my uh, with my uh, tea. Not drinking tonight. I have uh, I have work in the morning. It's not happening. I really do like sh the idea of showing the scale by Vincent Holder. I think like it's a nice touch. Like they could have just put the numbers and were lazy, but they did that for like each of the paintings. I don't think I have any of these uh, yet. And these are now inactive. All right, so let's go outside. Oh, and yeah, before I think this one is one that has a nice sprite train going by. Hey, hey. So this is like a nice central hub location. There's this thing that I don't know uh, uh, what it does. Thank you, Stu, for, for telling everyone that I'm a good guy. I, uh, I, I, but it has this animation that you have to watch in its entirety because if you try to skip it, it just restarts. But there's this rain animation with the house being painted blue and yellow. Yeah, like you have to watch it. And I actually don't know if this triggers anything, to be honest. With you. But certain things in like there is like when you saw I was in Vincent's room before. Sue, so, here's thanks thanks again. I really do appreciate it. But I was in Vincent's room before and there'll be more objects that I couldn't click on that will just become accessible once you trigger other parts in the game so like it's it's you basically always revisit the locations and see what changed i sort of like this video codec it's not half bad Like, it does pretty well with a full-screen video. There's not too many compression artifacts. What's in the tea? Just the tea. Um, well, let's go to some other locations. Some Something maybe a bit more nice. Like here, we got a little bit of a... Yeah, some objects are moving. This is like the thing that introduced... Um, A stone right in the face that's nice um anyway i really like this one like i really like this recreation um, of the night cafe like it's really cool some playing dice here 
We get whatever this is. Um, let's see what paintings I hear. Uh, I think that's a newspaper, which I don't have. What's this? That's a die. Let's do the die. In the summer, people go outside at night. It's much too hot in the daytime. But once the sun goes down, they sit on the terrace and talk or play dice until after midnight. Myself, I look at the stars twinkling in the summer sky. It's my sign of hope. We've been to the Van Gogh they Museum. tell me, keep painting, don't be discouraged. Do they sell Your paintings straight razors in the gift shop? But the people passing by point at me and whisper to each other, there's something wrong with that man. He should be put away. Take a good look at that little square. Did you see all the figures? Put each one back in the painting where it belongs. Uh, right. Wait. Not quite. Oh, okay. Try again. That's a nice one. Excellent. All right. Hmm. Let's see this one. So now that we did that, yeah, see, like, this object wasn't here before. That's a bit of a... Yeah, it blended in a little bit, so... The people of Arles want Mr. Van Gogh to be put like away a, in a hospital. A, a proto they don't ever want to see him again in their neighborhood. A, a proto-hidden object Camille game, Roulin essentially. Is furious. Like a 3D he hidden object game. He thinks it's not game. fair. But no one pays attention to his opinion because he's just a child. Areas. In fact, he knows Vincent very well. When he goes to paint in the countryside, Camille asks him, Hey, will you take me with you? Because he loves to see the colors come out of the tube and get mixed together on the palette or right on the canvas. And Vincent always answers, Of course, come on. And while he spreads his thick colors with his brushes, the painter explains to him, When you grow up, you'll see. My paintings will be worth more than the cost of the brushes and the paints. More than 30 this people is a Windows the game, and I'm pa playing it on the Windows the machine. And the police, so demanding that the yellow house be closed and Van Gogh not be evicted. Not appropriate. 30 but, people from the neighborhood. But that is real hardware. Except the postman, Joseph Roulin, Camille's father. He's very good friends with Vincent, whom he meets at the cafe every night at nine to play cards. The others wanted Joseph to deliver the letter because that's his job, but he told them. Deliver it yourself. For Joseph, I'm almost part of his family. I've already painted his portrait several times, plus those of his wife and their three children. He's a good, simple man, very cheerful and optimistic, always ready for a laugh. I try to bring out his good humor and energy in the lively curls of his beard that swirl around like the flowers on the wallpaper in his house. It'll take time for people to like my painting and understand it the way Camille does. All right, so it's been half hour, so I suggest that at this point, this will be the last painting I will like look at the details off with this. Like, I, I think this is a very nice device that shows you the scale, location, and all the info and stuff, but. I think it's not as important for the playthrough because I realized there's, there's still... I mean, this is not a long game and I already played it, so like I know all the... Uh, um, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I was stumped for several days on this game, actually. Um, um, and this is where the game starts becoming pretty weird. Uh, this is like the first where it starts introducing non-traditional objects. For example... 
Let's wait a little bit. You will also notice that in any of those 3D recreations, there is no people. All the people have been taken out. Oh, you can see that it animated a little bit. It's because this clock is an actual active object, but it only is active. You can only grab it when it rings 9 o'clock. Again, I know this because I've played this a year and a half ago. Look how these these balls are not spheres at all. There are some objects you can only carry and cannot put in your inventory, like this. Uh, what else? There's a bunch of stuff in this. Aha! Uh -huh, here's the glove. That's the lady that uh, asks us to bring the parasol. Black like the deepest night, without moon or stars. That's the color of the Provençal costume. Yeah, normality In the center is, of the canvas, um, Van Gogh abruptly like cuts out this patch of darkness around the woman's the spotless blouse. Realms of the haunting. The contours of the black jacket are outlined by the gleaming light of the cafe. This game works so surprisingly well. I was also the quite shocked by Marie how... Jean. The owner of this all-night cafe, this game where Vincent is. brings and especially his if you compare friend, it with Gauguin, its follow-up, which just makes like Arles. all the mistakes. Vincent has invited him to come the and Monet work game with him, is not but they argue until dawn because they don't agree about how a painting should be made. Hmm. We see there's this guy okay the head I don't think I have that right now is this it sometimes you really have to haunt oh here we go uh, Apple lighter card I don't think I have any any of those at this very moment either so let's travel somewhere else uh, I think this is an invisible wall but again I'll, I really like this alleyway like again, whoever was responsible for like drawing these like low palette um, textures for those like uneven objects, which they had to. Um, uh, Stu, you can play the Monet game, please. Be aware, it's a little bit difficult to run, but it's possible. The yellow house needs the clock. Is it day or night? The sky is dark blue. But the Monet but game is like a no real stars. adventure game. The street is phosphorescent like puzzles. the color of sulfur. Awful but story. There are no shadows. Could it be noon? Not great visuals. Exactly. Time. It was just about noon when I painted this canvas. Awful controls. There's no one on the street at that hour, and I'm left in peace. Nobody comes to look at what I'm doing and ask me if I'm really all right. When I moved in, this house had been shut up for a very long time and in a really bad state, all gray and dirty. Yeah, <laughs> get, I had getting an old game to work to make now it into the or back in the day the south, is, is an adventure game. All an adventure game for an adventure game. The sun, but they didn't come. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I don't think I can go that away. Yeah, there's a wall. I do like those houses. And even here with little little <laughs> warped textures. So cool. Uh, but night cafe is this way, and this way is uh, the what what are they called? The what the, the bridge, the bridge one. And look, there's another train, sprite train. Woo. But yeah, here he is. 
So we got the boat. This thing. An anchor that we'll pick up. And of course, yes, as T squared mentioned before, this is of course just doubling of the objects. Huh? We got an apple, polygonal apple. Got the shirt. Oh, the shirt just requires an anchor. Uh, where's that anchor? One fine day, I wanted to make something that I wouldn't make every day. The Longlois drawbridge, seen from the side, in a composition with straight lines like Japanese prints, and full of bright colors like the stained glass windows of a cathedral. In front of the bridge, the washerwomen What's are the staring What's the Kurosawa water, movie which where makes Scorsese plays Van Gogh? And deep blue. Who is the movie to guy? Me, that's the cheerful. movie person Don't you think in so? chat. Without looking it up. A guard raises the drawbridge when a boat passes and lowers it to let the pedestrians or vehicles cross. In fact, do you remember the vehicle that's going under the bridge in Vincent's painting? Do you remember Click the vehicle that's going back. under the bridge in Vincent's painting? Well, it's not this guy. And uh, not this guy. I do like how like, they're integrating those videos and the audio pans around. That's okay. right. It's a little horse-drawn carriage. It's really called the Reginelle Again, Bridge. Again, for the occasional Long misstep Lua this game the makes, the guard who has there is enough every time attention the paid goes by. Where, in the beginning, where I misunderstood, you? and I called it the Longway Bridge. Hmm. Alright, we're getting there. So let's walk across the bridge. You can actually uh, uh, lower the drawbridge from from this angle too, just in case, um, because you can because you can start in a different painting. You can actually approach the bridge from the other direction. You can start from a different location. All right, and here we go. We are we are at the at the asylum. It's just a hospital. And actually, this is a section of the game where everybody gets stuck. At I got stuck here for for days, um, and uh, I looked up a French review of the game, where it also uh, said that it's stuck here for days. Um, in the YouTube videos of playthrough of this game, the player also gets stuck here in this game. And there's a forum post on Moby Games about getting stuck. Because again, this is one of those places where the game breaks its own rules. One of those painting active objects, which are usually very active from like across the room or whatever, is this tree. But this tree only becomes active once you're right in front of it. Like... This is the only object in the game that does this. Everything else, as you'll you'll be able to see, is uh, is uh, is instantly turned on. Let's get the lamp. And now we're in a hospital where where Van Gogh spends some time. As you can see, here he is with his bloody um, ear. You can grab the candle here, and if you go close but on an angle, you'll be able to see. Earless Vincent, right there. I think I have that kettle, right? I don't have the kettle. Okay. Or the shark. Alright. Like the little name plates here, or whatever. Creepy sound effects. Oh, there's a chess. And we have both pieces. Among these three lamps, choose the one that's suspended in the hospital room. 
Well, I know which one it is because it shows you, but let's do a wrong one and see what happens. No, it's lime from a different one. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Let's do this one. Which one is this from? Oh, nice. That's actually really cool. And again, like all those transitions and stuff. It's these really are time for me to leave this place. movies. Really I made fun. a portrait of the doctor who took care of me, and I gave it to him. But his family used the painting to patch a broken window in their hen house. I can't keep doing two things at once. Painting and trying my hardest to live with the patients here. It's unnerving. I have to leave. Get closer to Paris and my brother. In his last letter, he wrote to me about a very nice little town near Paris, surrounded by wheat fields. It's called auvers sur oise And there's a Dr. Gachet living there, who's very interested in modern painting, and even does a little himself. To me, that's still the best medicine. We can talk about impressionists who brighten painting by putting light and colors on their palettes. Alright. Hmm. Almost halfway there. This is the large level. Okay, let's grab this giant crucifix. I think I got everything here. Let's just one more time admire the environment. Like, look at this. Something about these textures and this renderer just makes it look painterly. Really fun. And we can escape through the thing, the sprite trees and everything. Cool, cool, cool stuff. Let's get to this fucking thing. The stars are something that always fascinates me. Just like I'm fascinated by the black dots that represent the cities on a map. Unfortunately, you can't take the train to get to the stars, but I capture them at night with my paintbrushes. Yes, actually, yeah. So, like, uh, in the Monet game, it's, like, it, it's, it's filtered and, woof, does not look good. The smudging does not I look really need good religion. for that technique. Not religious ideas about God, but a respect for nature that comforts me. I like to think about the creation of the universe. So I go outside at night and paint the stars, those infinite worlds that are unknown to the human race. When the countryside is sleeping, the sky comes to life, and my tired eyes see dancing balls of fire. On my canvas, I exaggerate the swirling lines of shooting stars and comets. It's no easier to make a good painting than to find a diamond in the middle of the night. Hmm. Hmm. So I think we've been to all the paintings in this location. So now we just have to start revisiting our old locations and see. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a there's a wall over here. Um, and see what else can we do and by the way if we actually if we like see like i can get that shirt from across the street and actually let's see here i'll show you when we exit let's skip this the color uh, the paintings has been filled in actually where you completed all the tasks are in color huh. so let's get back to vincent's apartment I really like doing this interior without anyone in it, calm and well-ordered. After so many hotel rooms that were sad and cold, I finally have a real place of my own that resembles me. It's simple, just the basics, but inviting. In his canvas, all the objects aren't seen from the same place, as if Vincent changed his mind while he was painting. The chair, for example, is seen from above, 
but the table is seen almost head on. Look what happens if we put both of them in the same perspective. I sort of feel like I, I would have really liked this um, if I actually did play this as a as a teenager. To create forms, you can paint in dark and light or in colors, but it's hard to do both at the same time. You have to choose. What I want is to bring out the personality and the life of my model by exaggerating the opposition of a warm color, red, well, there's and a, a reason cool they one, called green, impressionists, right? So that Paul won't look feverish with his greenish face and his blazing red mustache, I put green and bright red all around. It's the same contrast, but stronger. Oh, I did have the camera. Find the eyes of the young soldier among these four portraits painted by Van Gogh. Destroyer, thank you for subscription. Well, I know it's this one, but this is like an easy one. But what if I pick a wrong one? That's a self-portrait of Van Gogh himself. Oh, God. Didn't you okay. recognize him? I just do the wrong one. That's Père Tanguy. He never came to Arles. Vincent knew him in Paris. He's also wearing oh, yes. a hat, but he's not a soldier. He's a postman. Okay, those warps are a little bit weird. But yeah. That's him, all right. In a few weeks, Paul's going off to Africa with the other soldiers. That's too bad. I won't be able to teach him how to draw anymore. All right, so mm. we're halfway there. Oh, I got it. Mm. And you can see now other, um, some other objects I think became activated. No, no. So what else? Uh, huh, Apple. I think I need to go to the to the night cafe. And yeah, it's weird because you teleport here like instantly, uh, but if you go back, you actually have to go back up the stairs. All right, that's already filled in. So is this one, right? I think it's something inside. This guy, the guy outside the window. No, that's uh, the head. I don't even know where that is. Uh huh. No? Let's, let's get some. This is a place where the worst human vices flourish money, gambling. So I decided to let the most contrasting reds and greens fight it out there. These three colors are what we call the primaries red, yellow, and blue. And what we get when we mix them are the secondaries, orange, green, and purple. This is the harmony that Van Gogh chose for inside of the cafe. Where do I get all this other stuff? Okay. All right, now I'm lost. Oh, here we go. Well, that was easy. Was it always there? Let's get this guy. One rainy day, Gauguin paints Van Gogh while he's painting a bouquet of sunflowers. Vincent is hypnotized by the flowers, and he doesn't notice anything else. You can see him furiously spreading the piercing colors on his palette, inventing unimagined encounters between blue and yellow. Let's just go down. Paul's leaving tomorrow. He's had enough of being in Arles with me. He says that I'm too bad-tempered, as if he were always good-natured. In fact, he's leaving because he wants to escape city life. Leave civilization and go back to primitive society. Become a savage again. He's finally going to make his dream come true. 
get on a boat and cross the oceans all the way to the tropics and it's funny and Pacific that's Islands. the reason why they have a painter name on, on the left side we're going to take a look at the at this one at the info because like mm. I, I i thought it was i forgot about this because i thought it was funny that they put like van gogh on, a, on the left side of every painting when you go in let me here we got the signature we'll go on. yep uh because, yeah, like most of them say Van Gogh on the left, but I guess that's the one. So now it's possible that something else is triggered that I have not seen before. A bit of a collision issue. What else? What else? What did I pick up? Did I pick up something else? Did I not pick up something else? What objects do I need? So I need whatever that is, the window. A window. I guess that's it on this one. Well actually let's um let's go to the museum and see. So we got the hospital. This one is not plugged in. What am I forgetting here? Let's see, let's see. Uh huh. Card, lighter, card, lighter. Card and lighter. Card and lighter. Am I missing something here? I feel like, okay. This is something very simple that I'm missing. See, I'm already having trouble with this game. This is the creepiest location. It's the sound effects. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so definitely the kettle. Here in beautiful Arles, I feel like I'm in Japan. I've never been to Japan, but looking at nature under a brighter sky gives me a better idea of what the Japanese painters were doing. With their love of drawing, these simple Japanese artists merged with nature to the point of feeling solid like a mountain or fragile like a flower. And then they were ready to paint. What did they paint? Did they imagine great battle scenes? No. They studied a single blade of grass. And that blade of grass led them to draw all the different plants, the rivers, and then the seasons, the animals, and finally, human beings. On winter evenings when I couldn't paint outside anymore, I copied some of these images so I could understand them better. That led me to draw silhouettes with a black line that was firm and flexible at the same time. The pale, flat colors of their prints are really beautiful. Like, like this is a very chill game. Over like it's, dozens of it's Japanese interactive prints. enough I to the point of Pertongi being like when I was in relaxing Paris. and stuff. He had a whole collection uh, in chat. What and is your? The one who first showed them do you have like a, a favorite chill now, game? A game that really doesn't require a lot of like see them reproduced in the newspapers. energy or attention, but still is enough to to hold your interest. That comforts me during this hospital stay. It really isn't. If you do, let me know. So I'm missing objects. I'm missing objects. Slider, card. Those feel like they would be. Those feel like they would be at the uh, at the cafe. Uh, or the tavern. What? What am I missing? Where are the cards? Hmm. Don't see any cards or lighters.
Maybe they're over there and I just didn't... Uh... I, I don't feel like the amount of information is tiring. Also, you don't have to like listen to it. You can just skip it and just treat it as a hidden object game. Is it like the lighter? Like I feel like it's here. These feel like the items that should be here. Aha! Card and the lighter, all on the same one. What? Were they there before? And I just didn't notice. We can't see anything, but it's not closing time yet. Put the lights on again. Okay, I know it's this one, but try another lamp. Let's let's see the effects. I like the the shadows. Try Wait, another. Did, did you draw the shadows for each one? Look at that. That's cool. Try That's attention lamp. to detail. Okay, you have to click the on the dazzling right frame of the lamps video. No. are like little suns suspended in the burning air of the cafe. Oh, crap! This oh, is a place where the oh no, you can repeat. Okay, cool. Didn't know that. When I feel too alone in my room, after a whole day of painting in the countryside, I go for a break in the cafe. I wait for my friend, the postman, Rula, who's also tired after delivering his letters and packages all day. So we play cards, and the games go on for hours. But late at night, the cafe is like an oven. All right, and now, and just like that. Hmm. We only got four sunflowers left. And I believe if we exit the thing, now this one is filled in. Yep, and I think more stuff activated. Um, no, still not. All right. Okay, whatever this is. <laughs> so weird. Let's go to the museum. So there's still stuff at the hospital. What am I needing? Oh, there's this too. Oh. Oh. Wait. Didn't I do this? Uh oh. Did it glitch out? Oh no. I can't. Thankfully. Ooh. Got scared there, but it didn't mark it as complete. Because this. But glass. The glass is in the apartment. Why isn't the glass getting triggered? Vincent, what am I missing? Probably missing something very simple. Yeah, it does look great. Ah, this wasn't active before. That's not even the thing. Oh man. C crap. Today, wow. I'm going to do a simple painting of my room. 
to suggest restfulness, even sleep. It should be soothing to look at. Everything's calm in the peaceful room. Every object is where it belongs, and yet everything is twisted. It's all ready to topple over. Vincent wants to show that the room where he lives is very close to him, a place that's familiar, intimate. He's not interested in geometrical perspective, and he doesn't use it. This is what the room would look like according this is my to the regular rules of Windows linear 10 perspective. Machine. It's a modern All the diagonals come together at a single vanishing point located on the horizon line. If we move that line up or down, our viewpoint changes. But Vincent doesn't have a surveyor's eye, and his point of view isn't that of a camera. This is his room, the place where he spends every day. He sits down over there, then he gets up, walks away, and comes back. He sleeps and dreams inside these four walls. It's the part of his daily existence, and he wants to show this in his painting. All right. And I'm sure now... Mm. I gotta find a spot where I'm using these. I'm missing, I'm missing a hotspot someplace. See, now this activated. I really miss my little room in the yellow house now that I'm in the hospital. So I'm painting it a second time from memory. And it's like I still live there a little. Right. I'm going to send like this that. second so painting two, to my mother. Vincent hasn't made an exact copy of his first painting. You have to find Do you see the differences? the differences? Which painting does this object come from? You have to choose. I don't think it punishes you for anything wrong but now this I think activated other stuff yeah now I think him pick these up or just these up and that's it okay I feel like there was more find all the objects that are in pairs Click on an object, and then on the other one of the pair. What else is in pairs? No. Click on an object, and then on the other one of the pair. No, what's in pairs? Click on an object, and then on the other Quiet. one of the pair. Click on an out? object and then on the other one of the pair. Am I missing something? Ah, yes! Motherfuckers. Me, the different pieces of furniture are kind of alive. You could not back out of this they keep one. Me I press some buttons. They're the inhabitants of my little nest. Hmm. Alright, just two more. We got a couple of items here. We need the sh glass, shard glass, which I think is over here, but but it does not activate that easily. Oops. Ah, oh, here we go. Now this activated. Okay. This is bullshit, but I'll forgive it. What I like after a long day of working nonstop is to smoke my pipe and decorate my room with my paintings, like a little exhibition. 
with portraits, it's more alive. I would like to paint portraits most of all, but people find my painting strange, unrecognizable, ugly. So nearly everyone refuses to pose for me. Since I really want to paint, I use my own face as a model with the help of a mirror. But I often get discouraged and wind up asking myself, are my paintings any good or not? Then I think of quitting once and for all. But in the end, it's better for the paint to be on my canvas than to stay in the tubes. So nobody in chat knows which uh, Kurosawa movie uh, Scorsese played uh, mm. Van Gogh in without looking it up. All right, so now the glass breaks. Yep, here we go. We get the shirt and now we can go to the to the hospital. The only one that's left. What am I? A new painter who's alone and poor. So many people have called me a madman that I'm really becoming one. The ideas in my head have burst into a thousand pieces and it's hard to put them back together. Reconstruct Vincent's hey. self-portrait by putting each piece in the right place. Okay, normally I'd hate those things, but this I don't mind. It's sort of well done. It's easy, the pieces are, uh, like, identifiable. Um, they lock in place. Uh, fairly well. A thirst for life. I, I don't know, is it a thirst for life? Don't guess, I'm not here to check you, because it's been a while since I've seen it and I could not remember. Now I'm feeling like I'm playing a Access Software game. All right, see, eh, easy, not annoying. Mm -hmm. And just like that, we're done with this level. May I remind you, all of you, or for people who showed up late, the framing device is that this is a virtual museum in a world with no sun. So now we can leave and enter the game's final level. Here it's only one, two, three paintings but there's a bit of a connective tissue between them I really like this sprites in the background the birds, the trees, it's all sort of, because of the render, it just sort of, sort of blends together. And it's not ugly, it's uh, kind of cool. What do we got? Well, might as well. If you see a white canvas staring at you with a kind of stupid look, hurry up and spray colors on it. You don't know how discouraging it is to gaze at a white canvas that tells the painter you can't do anything. Lots of painters become crazy because they're afraid of the white canvas placed on the easel. But it's the canvas that should be afraid of the painter, who passionately attacks it with his colors and brushes. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we got the height.
clue somewhere else. I don't think we can enter this building, so let's leave. There's actually quite a few. Ah, uh, here's a butterfly. Which I think. Oh, wow, you can actually catch it in the air. It eventually lands. Here's another cafe. This is the doctor. The doctor's bag with the item that we need for the doctor. I love those uh, textured bottles and stuff. I don't think there's anything here. So let's do the doctor thing. It's so weird that they made you press the space bar. Oh yes, that's right. When so. he left the Ravu Inn after lunch, Dr. Gachet made a mistake. While he was talking with Vincent in front of the coat rack, he took someone else's coat and hat. Give the doctor back his belongings. That was easy. The flower that the doctor had put on the table is a foxglove. It's a poisonous plant. Oh, but you mean the doctor? I thought you meant me. Just kidding. Hmm. And here, oh, yeah, you can go in. And I think upstairs here, all those rooms are inactive. But here you get the little Vincent's little room with nothing but the bed, chair, easel, and the, the sky. That I think is the last interaction in the game. That's it for this one. So we can just go that away. Got a little path that was visible here before. Ah, and here we get the church. That's a good one. I really like this one. So the door is an active object, but I happen to know that I think the solution is somewhere here. Yeah, there's a bunch of hay, and there's two paths here, I think. Let's see what we need here. Oh, we need the kite. Oh, yeah, we, we should have picked up the kite which is not here. But let's go to the field and see what we can finish here. So this is a field. You can see the church over here. There's a path to different location, I think, here. There's a little bit of a pass here and there. After he finished his painting, Vincent made a drawing of it with a goose quill and ink. So it's not a preparatory sketch, but a summary of his work, a few strokes that capture the essentials. When he paints, Vincent covers the surfaces of the fields and sky with short little strokes, in hatchings, dots, or long colored curves. In the same way, he traces black outlines that emphasize the forms. I like that. This one I actually really like. You first you erase as much as you can of the color. And then Where do these details come from? They the give painting? you a little pieces it's up to you to, to find out on the thing. Yeah. 
it's easy, but um, I sort of really like the, the matching parts. Hmm. Yeah, there wasn't much to paint or to do before the internet. Oh, kids these days are so lucky. Well, you can see through the geometry right there. That's okay. Huh. Feel like I missed something. Yeah. Definitely missed that gun. Or maybe I should have triggered something else before. Because I don't see the object that I need. Yeah, so uh, um, obviously at the end, you, you finally get a gun and you go fight a boss. Uh, yeah, it is a video game after all. I got a drink too much liquids. I need to take a piss. I thought I, I definitely could like. Wow, I've been dropping some frames too. That's not cool. Um, let's find the nearest uh, p p p p p p painting. Wait, where was this? I know. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. So I guess the revolver gets activated. Okay, I... Uh, <laughs> I... Um, I really need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, where is that door? Oh, here we go. Suddenly, the little church in Auvers, which has been solidly planted in the ground for centuries, uproots itself I like a return. gnarled tree and rises up like an earthquake. The path opens up and flows like a river of mud. Time stands still. The hands of the clock have disappeared. What am I in most people's eyes? An eccentric, a useless man who can't even earn his own living. They're suspicious of me. They think I'm hiding something. They say I have a secret that I'm keeping from the light of day. That's the way it is. But with my paintings, I'd like to show all these people that there's still something in the heart of this lazy bones, as they call me. Feelings of love for the world and everything that exists.
I was gonna say, um, was uh, was anyone making fun of me behind my back? Could always count on Stu. Hmm. By the way, all you Europeans should watch uh, Stu's streams. Because he streams at like 1 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Time. Like, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a true, true person who wants his streams watched on the East Coast. I'm your little butterfly. In front of nature, Sorry. I'm protected, and I feel good. Obviously, passers-by who see me drawing a tree trunk for an hour without moving imagine that I'm crazy and make fun of me a little. Sometimes they are even one or two of them who spit on my drawing. They're probably not stolen sound effects. They're, they're, not evil. they're most likely they from the same library. They just don't understand anything about painting. It's like the Doom sound effects show up everywhere. Not mm. too many games. Oh, fuck. Mm. All right, let's take a look how many how many we need. Just six. We need just six. And I bet you that unlocked the, the field. Right, so where we are in relation to the field. Aha, uh -huh. see, I see there is an object. Here we go. Now we get the gun. And I like how it sits off the birds. Yeah, so some uh, objects only become activated once you've finished the other ones. They want you to do things in a certain sequence, and there's absolutely no indica indication that that's how it works. Uh, I'm fine with that. Sometimes it's a bit annoying, but... This is where the road especially divides in the first into two parts. Obviously, I have played this Which before, and I remember it from a year lost. and a half ago. Should I keep going or stop? I'm going to express the dilemma with a duel between contrasting colors orange and blue, green and red. I've chosen a very long canvas, the kind painters use for seascapes, because I want to paint an ocean of yellow wheat under a sky that's still heavy and turbulent after the rain. Everything converges toward me at the crossroads. I want to assert my presence in front of this mass of movement that's swallowing me up. People should sense all the distance that separates me from the infinite horizon behind the wheat field. I still want to paint, but I don't have the courage to keep going forward. I feel my strength escaping me, my body getting heavy. It'll be good for me to get back to my room and lie down. How I wish it were all over and done with. That's pretty grim for, um, for, uh, for an entertainment mm. title. Take a look at these birds. Well, actually, I didn't realize we're gonna. I'm gonna do it in under two hours, but we essentially just have one more thing to do. So I'm gonna take the 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 scenic route. There, we're gonna go back to that little room I showed earlier. And that's where the final object is. go back here and of course we get the sunflower I painted this bouquet of sunflowers in Arles and it's like a bouquet of suns as a Dutch painter I wanted to see the Sun in all its intensity drawn by its light I've traveled from north to south like the sunflowers that turn toward it following its path in the sky I've tried to paint its beautiful yellow color and show its strength this strength that I draw on 
and that sustains me at every moment of my life. You too have followed the sun in my footsteps. Here, take it. It's for you. And now, that framing device that we've explored, and by the way, we cannot explore the info for this last painting, but that framing device comes all around, and uh, here we go. But you're also giving off more light intensity than usual. My senses tell me there's a sun someplace. That's hard to believe. My circuits must really be damaged. And yeah, through Van Gogh, we restored the sun. We didn't become the sun, but we, we carried the sun out. Do 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 do. Here comes the sun. Oh, I better not sing because YouTube is on fire as this. And yeah, here we go. This is it. This is it for uh, Mission Sunlight. Um, or uh, oh, there's not even gonna be credits. Okay. Um, well, it was weird. Um, let's go back for a second. At least let's play the music. Oh, and now I get the delay in sounds, but who cares? And also I'm floating on there, even though I'm not pressing anything, and there is, there's only keyboard movement. Let's see what happens. But either way, uh, I really like this. Uh, uh, usually, entertainment titles make quite a few mistakes, right? They either give you tests all the time and they're annoying, or they're repetitive, or they're not engaging enough, or very often they're lazy. This kind of avoids a lot of pitfalls of entertainment titles. This is actually sort of a fun scavenger hunt game, very simple mechanics, but being wrapped around in those elaborate 3D recreations because like they had to paint all of this. Like somebody had to like they it's not just like deconstructions of of painting. Somebody had to go in and make those like really uneven low poly models. Um uh, and and uh, and texture them and like hand hand paint the shadows uh, where appropriate and stuff in those environments like lots and lots of effort was was put into this and uh, remember this is a software rendered game from 1998 like with fairly low system requirements you can actually run it in I actually like now that I think about it it, it displays it in 640 by 480. I don't think this it's being rendered in 640 by 480, right? Like, I don't think it is. That's what the thing is. That's what it, uh, that's what makes it. I think it's just stretching it. Because there's no way those edges are like 640 by 480, right? Am I dreaming? Whatever. So however they're doing this, it's it's very fitting and it's low frame rate and everything. Just plays to its charm. Um, so uh, although many games are trying to recreate many retro styles um, today, you won't see this because this is actually really hard because somebody had to like manually UV map all of this and again there is no lighting all the all the lighting is baked in so uh, yeah they tried really hard and and uh, and it surprisingly uh, worked fairly well man I love this like look somebody had to like paint those like somebody had to paint in those those shadows in those textures um, here too and everything 
like so they look like oil paintings great stuff um, uh, and then somebody had to write all this text and create those like silly mini games and stuff and uh, you know what it, it, it really does work I, I, I am I am very impressed with this game uh, I'm glad it exists I'm glad that I eventually I sort of knew it existed for years and I never got around to playing it because I was like how good can this possibly be and I'm like you know what this is fine this is this is good it's engaging enough as a game and it's unintrusive enough as edutainment to sort of work as both and 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 i think it's uh, it's really cool i feel like i've only been going for like an hour and a half uh, anybody got any questions comments or whatever i can engage um with the chat a little bit more yeah tell him steve dave So this is a Kevin Smith reference. I met those guys. Met a lot of people in Kevin Smith's world. <laughs> Could you play the the one game featuring Sting? Which uh, which one? Which one is the Sting one? There's a lot of like Macromedia director games for singers. Oh, I will have a video coming up about uh, about the DOS game, a 3D. Das game, Das game from Cryo, based on the French singer's life. It's a coming. But I do like to check out those like. Uh, uh, artist based games uh, sometimes games like I have the David Bowie one I actually own it physically might even have it here do I have it here no I do not although I just realized this is still here um, the uh, gigabytes uh, a book um, a book of hacker recipes Want me to read some of it while I'm at it? Because why not? Let's see. They're disgusting. You're welcome, everybody who is, who's joining us. Let's see. Twinkie casserole. That just sounds too, too, too bad. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, no. God. Dips. No, let's let's get. I, I have scanned this book. Um, uh, used to have the anarchist cookbook. Who didn't? What do you think? You're the only one. You're so cool. Um, let's see. Okay, hear about this hacker fondue with pork rinds for cheese lovers. I just I'm gonna ruin this fucking stream for cheese lovers. The classic Swiss fondue has been updated for quick preparation and more modern taste. Two pounds cheddar cheese, one package Velveeta cheese, half a cup sour cream, dash of pepper, dash of salt, one bag pork rinds. Are, are you ready, kids? <laughs> one. Chop the cheddar cheese in half-inch strips and place it in a large bowl. Cut in, uh, cut in the Velveeta cheese and mash. Two. Microwave cheese mixture for five to six minutes until melted. Three, stir thoroughly into a smooth consistency and remaining ingredients. Add remaining ingredients and serve very hot with pork rinds. Serves two or three. Variations, hacker fondue with cheese strips. Serve with cheese strips alongside. Hacker fondue with Slim Jims. Instead of serving with cheese strips, use spicy Slim Jims for a great surprise. But wait, there's more. Well, there's dips. This is just like the other stuff is little dinners. Trust me, you don't really want anything from the dinners here. Um, but if you go in the Internet Archive, this is <laughs> this is <laughs> this is all scanned. Uh, very amusing. I I I I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm not gonna torture you anymore. However, oh, what else do I have? 
I normally move stuff away, but for example, I have this video gaming and computer gaming illustrated magazine. Uh, the issue about uncensored video games. Uh, who wants to guess uh, the year of this? The religious background music feels inappropriate slightly. But. Bring it closer. I'm not going to bring it closer. So it has the date on the thing. Actually, well, whatever. 1999, Ah, uh, see, you guys are all, all, all overshooting. Because this is from 1983. And to illustrate uh, what kind of sexy games are being discussed here. Uh, actually, in a fairly interesting article. Uh, in this one. Are adults ruined it for the rest of us? Um... Let's see this. There's, there's several uh, sexy games being discussed. And here's one. Um, with lush graphics and suggestive rather than blatant gameplay, Multivision hopes Harem will be a hit. And I will demonstrate these screenshots now. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, very hot. Uh, this is in fact the pre-Larry era by, by like half a decade almost. Um, I beg you. Will this work? Ooh. Eee. Clickety clickety click. Let's load a different location. Uh. Yeah, I clicked I'll, I'll, I'll tab on a different uh, thing. Uh, well, any other questions? I sort of felt like I, I, would, I was going to go for at least two hours, but... Um, uh, but... Uh, uh, because I didn't look at all the stats for every uh, every painting, uh, I guess time time really flew by. And because I knew the answers, like I said, this thing made me stuck for days before. <sighs> Why are you not drinking vodka? I got work tomorrow morning, sir. You know what I do for you. Are one of the few people who knows what I do for a living. You don't want me fucking up. Will we ever get the studio tour? My studio tour? I don't really have a studio. Um, everything is sort of... Uh, around me, kind of. So... Uh, so there's that. Uh, I think I've heard about this uh, interactive Van Gogh show because uh, they also had one in New York, I believe. It's like the one where they project stuff on the walls and stuff. Looked cool, but I did not go. Are you going to let me know next time you're in the city? Uh, I am still considering going this Wednesday, but probably not. But I will let you know if I'm going, obviously by like tomorrow. Ancient Greece mythology scene subscriber from the late 80s, early 90s, definitely DOS. Did it have a guy with his dick out in it? <laughs> okay, stream room tour. Uh, see, my, my working area is kind of in a state that I'd rather not show to, to other people. Um... So, uh, so probably not at the moment. Maybe someday. Maybe someday I'll just show you. Uh, I am considering. I was considering like where I show the the 
the devices that I use, which are not numerous. I don't really have uh, many things. How was PAX? I didn't go to PAX. Isn't it still going? Or was it over Sunday? Oh, let's break the game. Let's load the game. Let's load the game and and remove the, the 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 frame limiter, and therefore break break everything. Actually, let's just yeah, let's load Arnold. Yeah, so now our frame rate is 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 unlimited, and it breaks like everything. Animations, shmanimations, you can actually like push yourself through corners. I saw somebody break out of boundaries by like pushing into geometry. Yeah, it's like playing this, the train sound. The train went by like five minutes ago. Not gods. I mean, like, yeah, there's not a one. Look at the train go. Um. It's really difficult to uh, to uh, to identify games just in general. Like you need to remember more. Anything that you can remember visually helps, and it could be any little detail. Like I know people have pictures in their head, but they're like, "Oh, it's a side scroller, and it's and it's has this and that and the other." But in, in reality, they remember more. It just they can't describe it. Because those images are inseparable, and I'm really bad at, at, at looking thing, you know, like like at identifying things. I need to sort of get a fairly clear idea of what they are. So people ask me with very little information all the time, and I almost never reply. But yeah, Gods is pretty. Like, but Gods is also pretty famous. Like, like I feel like if you're into retro computer gaming, you would know Gods. Like it would, it's not obscure. Is that a bat? That's a bat. What's the proper frame rate of this game? I don't know, like 10 frames a second. Whatever you saw on the stream before. Because like all animations and all the physics are tied to it. Like this is, this is like three times as fast. I mean, I know it looks slow, but like this is three times as fast. Um, this fast. I'm running on like an i5 whatever, but I'm uh, you know, trust me, whatever it was before was it's because it, it, it artificially limits the frame rate until you load the game. I don't know if they just never loaded the game that they didn't know it was like a game breaking bug. For whatever reason. If you just exit and restart from the profile, it loads from your last location, it, it runs perfectly fine until you load a game. Which you really, you've seen me play through the whole game without saving or loading, so. Not that that's required. I think they just sort of assumed you'd be playing in one sitting. It wouldn't be a French game, it wasn't, or especially a cryo game, if it wasn't broken in some way or another. So. At least let's uh, agree that it's like the least. <coughs> it's a Windows game, so I'm running just fine. It's a Windows DirectX 5 or 6 game. So um, it's it's mostly runs fine as far as thing is concerned, but it's, it's rendering is broken. So I use a program called uh, uh, DXWND uh, um, that hooks old... Uh, DirectX calls and routes it through the um, through the um, through the through the new um, uh, through the new APIs and that's the reason it works. Uh, it is absolutely uh, a cryo game. Uh, it's like four different companies um, 
together uh, and one of them is cryo cryo in this case i think th the 3d tech is actually cryos grab the box since you have it bitch uh this is 1998 It's like Index Plus, the museum, whatever the Japanese company is, or maybe the Japanese company is the Index Plus, and Cryo. Ah, so climb around castle walls and, and could fight castle guards. Yes, okay. Um, You are correct, sir. Yeah, I am kind of always correct. I don't know if you knew this. Um, yes, uh, I, um, I, I, crap. What is that game called? It's like a late. It's like a cinematic platformer. When you climb the walls, it shows you climbing the walls from like the the back view, right? It's sort of like a flashback kind of a deal, Prince of Persia, but you could climb the walls. And you can see the guy climbing from the back. Is that what you were um, talking about? Crap. Um, are you, uh, Nate, are you following me on Twitter? Hold on, all right. Everybody hold on while I look up this game for, for late. I, I'm not sure if that's the game. Uh, I wouldn't even know how to start looking it up. But what I'm thinking of is a, is a crappy, crappy cinematic platformer. from the mid to late 90s and it's in high resolution and I don't remember what it's called it also sucks I don't remember the soundtrack Oh man. Ah, crap, crap, crap. <sighs> I, I, the game I'm thinking of, I can look up. I just, I just, um, it will take me a while to just remember what 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 it was called um but what i'm thinking of is like you started at the town there was a wall you could climb and then you instantly ran into guards and uh what's the best site to search for it that really depends um or it's not so much depends it's really hard to do once you if you don't know what you were searching for all right nate if follow me on twitter remind me tomorrow um remind me tomorrow i'll 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 just uh, what time is it in your time zone remind me tomorrow after 7 30. 7 30 uh being two and a half hours ago i think um, and I'll just go through my screenshot collection and I'll eventually, uh, will remember. And hopefully that's going to be the game and not just something that's, that's the same thing. Because I'm thinking of it as actually kind of, uh, um, 
late, like more like a late 90s game, like post-95. Which was also like a DOS, a simultaneous DOS and Windows release. So, again, it could be a completely different game that just starts off in the same way. So don't get your hopes up. But I'll find that game, the game I'm thinking of. And now it's 10 o'clock. People of Earth, uh, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm going to assume you're all, all Earthlings. Uh, thank you for being on the stream. Um, uh, and uh, 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 if any of you are extraterrestrial, especially big shout out to you. Thank you for watching. I hope you understood all my references. Um, and uh, uh, I hope everyone who stopped by enjoyed this game and maybe learned something about Vincent Van Gogh and his technique. Um, and uh, something about mid 90s uh, 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 <laughs> mid 90s uh, obscure multimedia entertainment games from France and Japan at the same time. So uh, now you can tell everyone that you've seen a, a really cool uh, game about an impressionist that like nobody played. Um, so thank you all. Once again, uh, thank you, Stu, for <laughs> your kind donations. Um, and uh, on that note, I am going to cut this stream, hopefully, whatever time of the day it is for you. Good day, good evening, good night. Meanwhile, keep playing them DOS games. Take care, everyone.